Oh, you do, do you? God, I want to punch him in the face. All right, welcome back, guys. It's Luke Launcher, and in the last episode, we ended with getting dual wielding for Eric, and we found a dragon scale, which I'm sure does something great. But most importantly, let's go equip another weapon. All right, so we got... Deafness goes to 87. This one just goes to 64 with attack. Yeah, I think I'd rather do that. Dude, that is so dope. Look at that. That's a game changer right there, I'm pretty sure. God. That's what I've wanted this whole game. You see what happens when you explore? You, like, get stuff that's good. There we go. Let's, like, let's beat this dragon up with that. Alright, a green dragon. Who, what does this dragon look like? It looks like a... Some cartoony dragon from something. Let's try this itemized kill. I'm gonna skip the animation, because I don't need it, but... We got... I actually missed it. I think it said a dragon horn? Right, that was a dragon horn, right? Alright, let's try attacking. Dude, okay. One attack went with that one. That's great. You gotta love it. Hmm. Okay. So that was maybe a little bit disappointing. It's all good. I'm gonna speed this up now. Dude, 308. <laughs> that is nuts. Jeez. Okay. So maybe it was exciting. Um, anyway, what are we supposed to be doing? Oh yeah, we're supposed to go down this well. So we're finally going to go into this, the ruins of the castle at least. I don't know about that though, man. I'm like, I'm, I, I'm claustrophobic as hell. I'm like terrified of being enclosed in spaces like that. So just like getting through that little opening of the well would probably freak me out. But we're here, we're in the cave, we're all good. I guess we're not jumping off this bridge right now. We'll jump off that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, this is a pretty ass cave though, I'd live here. Even though I'd prefer these uh, walkways to be a little bit wider. There's really nothing in here that they just wanted they just wanted it for effect. Sometimes I think, like, why do they, you know, do little hallways like that? Or, like, why do they make you, like, shimmy through things? Like, if they're just gonna, like, if nothing happens, you just, like, get to the other side. And then I think, like, why do you do anything ever? And then it's depressing, and then I stop thinking about it. Hello. <laughs> So you made it at last. Yes, we did. Is it just you? Where's your friend, the girl? Hmm. She has duties to attend to. She'll be glad you came, though, as am I. You are so weird, dude. It's not like we had much choice. Now where's the rainbow? We need it. Oh, you do, do you? God, I want to punch him in the face. I suppose that's because your pal here's the luminary. We weren't hiding it, dude. <gasps> Wait. How could you? It's the giant mark on your hand, bro. I Come on. I thought you died years back, laddie. When I saw that mark in your hand at the tournament, my heart skipped more than a few beats, let me tell you. Now... Come along. There's something I want to show you. 
if you'll indulge an old man for a wee while. Is that how you spell old where you guys are? Is this Dragon Quest language? Am I just like that uncultured about anything that isn't American? Are you really? I mm mm. Nope. We're not waiting for that guy. We're gonna do some exploring. Aye, this place brings back some memories, sure enough. Ah, uh, he used to be a Look, person here, huh? are you going to tell us who you are or what? It's Rab, Eric. Come on. I'd already given up most of my duties by then. I spent most of my days in the city enjoying my retirement. Oh, we had us some fun. <laughs> and then the monsters came. When I was your age, laddie, this was one of the finest cities you could ever hope to see. Ugh. Just listen to me blethering on. I, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Come on! That's why he looks like... dead inside, because his, like, whole life burnt to the ground, basically. Hmm. Is this somebody's grave? That our grave? Aye. This is where the king and queen of Dundrasil are buried. Wait, that's what their grave looks like? It's this tiny little rock? You mean? I thought that they got, like, mm. you know, mausoleums and stuff built. It's kind of offensive, honestly. If I was king or queen, I'd be I probably pissed. This is your parents' grave, laddie. The grave of my daughter and son-in-law. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, but that would mean you're his grandfather. I didn't think I'd get, like, chills from this game, but I kind of did. That's nuts. These two fine young souls died, and I survived. I came to believe there must have been a reason for that. That someone had a purpose in mind for me. And so now we're just supposed so to give I you purpose. So I set to learn why Dundrasil was destroyed. I've been on the road ever since. God, that's so nuts. I've uncovered some of the truth on my travels. It was King Carnelian, you see. He changed. Yeah, was he, he once possessed? believed in the power of the Luminary more than any of us. But he became convinced that you were evil. That you were the Darkspawn. Uh, Why? He's not a man I knew any longer. Folks say he blames you for everything, even the death of his daughter. How could you, old friend? Oh, okay, so it could have just been like that kind of traumatic need for a blame, you know, like... There's something behind it all. The fall of Dundrasil, the change in my old comrade. I promise you, I will find out the truth! Okay, no, so the Darkspawn did definitely possess the king or whatever. Okay. That's dope. I mean, it's sad. Oh, this poor dude. Eleanor. I get a... That one. I found I found your boy. He wasn't a loss to us after all. Mm. Okay, dude. <laughs> You're alive, laddie. Against all the odds and and now you're home. You've no idea how many times I've dreamed of this day. I never thought it would actually come. Now, will you humor an old man a while longer? Yeah, whatever, man. Royal ritual, you see, is to send the souls of the departed to a better place. I'd like you to help me perform it. Yeah, I mean, sounds like the right thing to do. Let's go for it. 
There's an altar up in the hill behind the castle. I'll be waiting for you there. I mean, I feel like, why, wouldn't you want to, like, walk up there with your grandson or whatever? Like, it's the first chance you get to talk to him. And you're just gonna, like, make us find you over there? Oh. Okay. Well, hang on. We can just... Yep, go under it, dude. Recipe book, dressed like a Drazillion. Alright, so we can make helms and armor of Dundrazil. Why isn't it a Dundrazillion? Wouldn't that make sense? Like, do you... I don't think you break down the word to make, like, those... Like, the adjectives. But, whatever. Alright, Devil's Tail. I'm glad that there was, like, one single pot that survived this apocalypse and that we got to smash it. That's what really matters. This is a really pretty little trail. Jeez. Yeah, that's nuts. Like, just when you think, like, all of your family is just gone and your whole, like, town and castle and city is just destroyed and then, you know, you're an old man all of a sudden and then you find your grandson? That's some pretty heavy shit. Although, is he still walking this way? <laughs> nope. He disappeared up there, I guess. Maybe he teleported. I'm gonna go with that, just for the sake of... Oh, Jade's here. Everything's ready. Ah, thank okay. you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Wait, you don't mean if the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me, only members of the Drasillian royal family may perform the ritual. Wait a second, so Oh, okay. I thought they were. She was saying that she was part of the family or something. How come he called you princess? Are you? Quiet now. The ritual is about to begin. I wonder if she's the princess of a different place, Heliodor. Maybe we're not. Hmm. You just follow my lead. All right, laddie. Okay. That's not the rainbow, is it? Are you kidding me? I will be pissed. I mean, it's not glowing, so I don't think it is, but... The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. Oh shit. So do you need more than one person to do the ritual then? The smoke guides them back to where they belong. To Yggdrasil's bosom. Whoa, so that's just like all the people who died here, huh? Each butterfly is a lost soul. And now they can all be at peace. So this is basically Yuna. Like, sending the souls. That's so pretty. It also looks like, um, what's his face? His, uh, Bankai, you know. Is his name Byakuya? From Bleach, you know. Rukia's brother. You didn't die in vain, Eleanor. You saved your boy. And the princess. It was a noble sacrifice you made. Thank you. My beautiful girl. And goodbye. I hope you don't mind me asking, but... 
Your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? Give him the letter, bro. <gasps> oh, no. She didn't, did she? So this letter's why you went to see King Carnelian, eh? Mm-hmm. <sighs> if only she'd known. I'm sorry, laddie. You've been through so much. I mean, we kind of have, but, like, it didn't seem like that bleak at any but point, though. I suppose though. if you'd not set out for Heliodor, the journey would never have led you to me, eh? <sighs> oh. Helena. This poor old dude, man. I'm sorry, Laria. I'm gonna need to be alone for a wee while. There are so many options for a thumbnail. I don't know what I'm gonna have to pick, though. Let's see what a Veronica has to say. Things would be a lot easier if we could just fly up to Yggdrasil like those butterflies. I can maybe make that happen for you. Let's see. It's usually things behind stuff. Not this time. Um... I feel like we're supposed to talk to Rab again, but... Yeah, okay. I guess we're just supposed to leave. See what what Eric's got to say then. I think I figured out who that girl is. It's kind of hard to believe though. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think he knows who it is. All right. Serena, we're getting to talk to everyone. Wasn't the queen brave arresting you the way she did? Veronica and I must learn from her example. After all, it's our job to protect you now. You better fucking learn. Um, hello, Sylvando. Oh, darling. The ceremony was just beautiful. Your parents are at peace now, I'm sure. Oh. He gets really broken up about stuff. Lady Eleanor. <gasps> Who's there? Who do you think, dude? You weren't supposed to see that. I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. Why don't we take a little walk? Sure. My mother was a rather sickly soul by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So, in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. Mm. It always rains in you times know, like these. It was these. raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Wait, up there. Are you kidding me? Why are you intruding on our moment? The audacity. Something so tells rude. me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Heliodor. Come on. We need to get back to the others. Yeah. What's well, GTFO? We don't want to be... We don't want to be stuck with these guys, do we? So at least... It looks like we're going to be getting Reb and Jade on our little team pretty soon. I was like pretty sure we were going to get Vince with us too. <laughs> the ones from the altar no sign of them what about the darkspawn no sign of him either blast 
They must have got away. It, it's him! <gasps> He's over here! The dark spawn is over here! Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, for goodness sake. Seriously. <laughs> I don't know. I'm do not worried about it. Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the dark spawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Just you try it. She's such a badass man. I can't be expected to take her on alone. Sir Hendrik! Sir Hendrik! Is he really here? Come on. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. Yeah, well, it's GTFO. Lots of hand holding in the last few minutes. Okay. Hurry up, Jade. Oh my god. Why even let me walk? He looks like Lion I have from Fire Emblem. Last, Dark Spawn. There is nowhere left to run. You are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. Men, the Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward. Are we really doing this? I guess so. Uh oh. It's a cutscene. So... This is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic. Use your luminary power, bro. Said to bring me alive. You will evade me no longer, Dark Spawn. The chase ends here. There we go. You dare! Dang. Huh? Oh. Princess he realized, Jade? huh? Surely not. <gasps> Are you kidding me? It's always the rock. <sighs> Nothing good ever comes off of dangling from a cliff, you know? There is just so many things going on. Why is he knocked out? I won't let you go again. Uh oh. Oh, it's that little cabin we saw earlier. Funny how things work out like that. Alright, so I think that what I want to do is save. But it might be a minute before I get to do that. <laughs> oh good, you're awake. I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? Yeah. We can warm up. Oh. Not what I thought you had in mind, but okay. 
I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... if it happened again. I suppose Rab must have told you about your mother, that she sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. Yeah, I was getting the feeling you might that have been night, the princess. The night Dandrasil fell. We ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I I was too weak and stupid to I fell in the river, and I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you, Rab, fished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Rab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind, that someone must be controlling him. So Good we set time. out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. What's going on? Wasn't it night? Oh, so we talked all night long, I guess. Looks like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. Oh, maybe it was just dark because it was raining? I'm pretty sure it was nighttime. Whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. That was like a little movie, basically. Seriously, we played for like half an hour and it was like 90% cutscenes, which was dope. We learned a lot. It was super exciting. I, um,. Yeah, that got heavy, and there's so much going on now. I, um, man, I'm so excited for this game. It's so much fun anyway. Sorry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> if like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And I'll see you later with whatever game I'm playing. Bye.